So this is my brand new snapper trailer. It's an eight and a half foot wide, uh, 20 foot long, but I had it custom built so I'd have a seven and a half foot inside height because I need the height. And I took everything off the walls in here because I'm getting ready to spray foam insulation in there. And that's when I kind of noticed all the wrong things with it. Like, see the way this diamond plate is here? Those big gaps. Big gaps down here. Well, you think that that is onto the sheet metal, but there's no sheet metal. The sheet metal actually ends right in here. So when you go inside the trailer, and I'll show you, all you're looking at is the back of this diamond plate, which doesn't protect anything really because it's so thin, it's crazy. And then you see all the, the breaks in the seams. Look at that, that's just crazy. It's like that all over the whole trailer. And of course, you know, they're too busy to even wipe off their pencil marks. You know, that, that, that's just promoting leaks and water in your trailer. It's everywhere too. It's not just one side or one seam. It's the whole trailer is like that. The whole trailer. On the back here, this, this is, uh, it, I, I was astonished that there's no, you look down there, you can see the ground. There's nothing there to stop any water from coming up and splashing all over the back of your plywood that's in here that isn't pressure treated. And look at the, look at the gaps right here in the nose. I got a feeling they turn these trailers out so fast they don't give a crap what it looks like behind all the trim that's in here because the whole thing is trimmed out like this around the door. And you can't see anything and it's cocked at the bottom. This piece I'm not taking off. Um, but the rest of it I am. You can see all the wiring harness. It's not connected or anything to anything. It's just they got it hanging in the front by a couple pieces of tape and the rest is just dangling. It's a mess. That's just that's just a, a short waiting to happen. After after a couple of years, you know, this trailer is going to start having problems. But your warranty will be gone, so they they don't really care. And this is this is what I was showing you on the outside. This is the back of your diamond plate, and that's where the sheet metal ends. They cock the whole bottom so that, you know, anything that does splash up from the road, because this is right behind the wheel well here, will, will not go beyond the plywood because it's all cocked all the way around. But again, it's not pressure treated lumber. So eventually it's just gonna start rotting. Here's another good spot. That round spot back there is a vent. This is a vent here with holes right to the outside. You can see them. They go right to the daylight outside. Instead of putting some caulking over those and covering them up, they just left them bare. come down the other side it's it's more of the same when you're at the dealership one of the last things they tell you when you're picking up your trailer is oh yeah if you're having problems warranty issues um, you have to take the trailer to Georgia well, I live 370 miles from there, and they have no way of fixing anything here. So now they're going to make you take it all the way to their place in Georgia.
And then you come around the front and you look at the wiring harness underneath the trailer. It's just wires hanging through holes in the frame. There's no, uh, there is no protection on these. They do put wire loom on it when it gets up by the tongue right here to the front of the trailer. But to the back of the trailer, it's like that all the way down. And just 